Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstadt. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats, all things photography, real world use, kind of informational. So today I want to talk about how I develop film. And I've gotten a little, a little advantage lately. See, I used to always, I would clear my countertops, both sides of my double sink, and I would put a plastic bag over each side and I would put a newspaper on top of that one plastic bag on the right side of the double sink and then I would bring my developer and my fixer which are in Pyrex 32 ounce pourable pitchers I would maybe they're 16 ounce they're small and I would bring them out I keep them stored in the same room in a, in a little bin. The fixer I use over and over. The developer I usually mix first each time. And I would bring those out onto the piece of paper next to the double sink. And then I would turn the water on, get the 68 degrees so I can mix the developer, put that on the piece of paper next to the sink. And it was going pretty well. But I had to move everything all the time. And then one day I had made some HC-110 and I only developed one roll of film and the next day I had another roll. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to reuse that developer. It's fine. And it is. It goes bad in about a week. It turns black. But the next day it's the same color yellow and it completely works fine. And you probably shouldn't do that. Don't take my recommendation. But I use developer more than once. If it's on the same day or the next day and it's only a couple of rolls of film. So... That was my go-to. Set up the kitchen, move everything off, put the plastic bags down, put the paper down, put the developer and fixer down. And then one day, I thought, you know what? The developer's already mixed. And I'm going to go with whatever temperature it is because it's about 68 in my house. It might be 70, close enough. Film isn't all that critical to the exact temperature. It just needs to be in there. And I have fine results with using whatever the room temperature chemical is. So, but that time I didn't bother to put the plastic down. I didn't bother to put the paper down on top of the plastic. I have two deep double sinks. So I put the two Pyrex developer and fixer into the first double sink. And then the second double sink, I turned the water on to get it to 68. So it would be ready for the stop bath fix. Stop bath rinse, and I turn that off. And then I have a simple timer that is always in my kitchen. It's a little kitchen timer. And I have it set for five minutes. I hit the five minute button. I pull the developing tank out of the Harrison tent, which I just loaded. I put that into the sink. I pour the chemical in, wait five minutes, give it a couple turns and twists couple taps on the bottom of the sink and now I don't need to clear my kitchen sink anymore and the fixer's right in there too and when I'm finished five minutes I just take that developer I pour it back into the Pyrex in that first sink and I may use it again or I may toss it and then I take the canister over to the second sink and I fill it with water there's my stop bath 30 seconds later I dump that down the drain and then back to the sink one and I pour the fixer in and nothing is splashing. Nothing is getting on any of my kitchen surfaces and set the timer for five minutes. Wait five minutes. That one doesn't even need as much agitation. Just give it a couple of shakes at the beginning and you're good. And five minutes later, that gets poured back into the Pyrex in that first sink. And now bring it to sink number two, turn the water on let it rinse for 10 minutes, put the Pyrexes away. I'm all done. It's easy peasy. It's so simple because it doesn't take a recreating my kitchen to make it so that it's working. It's not covering everything with plastic and newspaper and it's just working inside the deep wells of my sink. And that might just seem like, oh, who cares? It's so simple and no big deal. But it's a big deal because I'm saving 10 or more minutes every time I develop with not having to prep and move kitchen appliances and move cutting boards and all of the things that go into 
making that space available when the double sink is always available. And again, if I just mixed HC110 yesterday, it's ready to go. Get the film up here. Let's pour it in. Let's get five minutes going. We're good. That's my latest. And I find it to be very freeing. I can process film probably in 12 minutes. It takes me a couple of minutes to load the film into the Harrison tank, Harrison tent onto the stainless steel reel. And once it's in there, it's probably 12 minutes. It's five minutes for the developer to do its thing. Five minutes, I'm using HP5, by the way. Five minutes for the fixer, half a minute or a minute for the stop bath. And then by the time I put it all away and I put the tank in the sink washing, and then it takes another 10 minutes to wash, but I don't sit with it, I just let it run. So it's a very, very simple process. I like the double sink. If you have one, I don't like working on my kitchen counters and having anything maybe splash on any appliances, so I have to cover everything and protect everything. But working in that double sink, I find that nothing is splashing up over top and coming out of those deep sinks. And that's, that's the benefit. That's, that's what really works for me. All right. Hey, how do you do it? What's your, what's your plan? How's, how do you make it work? I remember years ago I talked about to a friend, I'd like to set up a wet dark room downstairs. I don't know if I should be using my kitchen. And he said, I just use my kitchen. I've used it for years. And he's healthy, so he's a good photographer too. So that gave me the push I needed to say, okay, I can do this in my kitchen and I can be safe and you can too. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. I appreciate all my supporters, and I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.